This is the actual flight that ended as the deadliest balloon tragedy in the nation's history. Tonight, some of the first clues. NTSB investigators on the scene confirming the balloon hit the transmission lines and there may have been fog in the area. There's physical evidence to indicate that the balloon uh, or some component of the balloon hit the wires themselves and not the tower. It was shortly after sunrise. These pictures taken as the flight covered its eight miles. At 740, the balloon carrying the 16 is nearing its landing zone. At 742, those wires, some 10 stories high, are hit. Like a gunfire explosion. You saw a big fireball go up, and it was just, it's just praying that whoever was there got away from the thing in time. This is two new drag routes for the flames on the Emergency crews are on the scene at 755, finding fire and death. Along with the 15 passengers, the commercial pilot Skip Nichols, a balloon lover, as he told our Texas affiliate. It's a ton of fun. It's an adventure every time. Congratulations, you're all aeronauts. It's bad enough to lose a fellow pilot. It's much more horrific to lose innocent passengers. It was the worry of an accident like this one and several others like these caught on camera which caught the attention of the NTSB two years ago asking the FAA to enact additional oversight on the growing balloon tour industry. The FAA did not take action. NTSB investigators are at the scene of the deadliest hot air balloon accident in U.S. history looking for answers as to why the balloon went up in flames over the weekend. Tonight here, we are learning more about the pilot on board and the 15 other people who died along with him, including newlyweds. Late today, the hot air balloon basket engulfed in flames falling to the ground with 16 on board was removed from the scene. As investigators learned, the top vent of the balloon was open to release air, and the pilot had signaled he was landing. Is it your sense he was trying to land and hit the power lines? The vent being open would be consistent with the pilot attempting to land. As photos posted in Flight by Passenger show, there were clouds and fog Saturday morning. When there was an explosion, the 911 calls came within minutes. The whole thing is in flames now. Tonight, court records show the pilot, Skip Nichols, was convicted of drunk driving four times in Missouri, the last one nine years ago. A former girlfriend tells ABC he was a recovering alcoholic, sober for many years. And now the pictures, selfies before and during the flight by excited passengers who perished. A new mother of an 11-month-old who was flying with her mother. And this couple, newlyweds, the trip a gift for the husband. That pilot spent time in prison twice for those drunk driving convictions. Balloon pilots are not required to have a medical certificate, but they are supposed to self-report convictions.